purpose of this video is to learn how to categorize your posts. So right now we are currently at the dashboard and we're going to look at our live site. So in our site right now, we have several different posts that we've already created, one about an assembly, one about a space test, and um, an announcement for Superhero Day on Monday, as well as a field trip coming up. And uh, one of the options WordPress offers you is to be able to categorize your posts. So we're going to add some categories. So we'll go back up to our dashboard. And on the left-hand side, we're going to go down to Posts, and then in the pop-out menu, select Categories. When you're thinking about your categories, this is a way for you to organize your posts. So think of it like you are putting files in a filing cabinet or creating files on your desktop and you want to put all of your different posts into these files. So we'll think about maybe something that we'll write on top of our file. So maybe homework. And then we will add a category. And we might want to do another one maybe for parents. And we will add that category as well. If we go back to our viewing tab, our sample site at the top, you'll notice that the category section is on the right hand side of the screen. This is in what is called the widget area. You can add widgets to this area. Some templates may be different. Some templates might have the widgets at the top. Others have, might have them on the left hand side, the bottom. You just never know. So whatever template you're using may be different. But if your template does not already have the categories widget on the right hand side, be sure to watch the instructional video on adding widgets to your home page to better be able to add that widget or to get that widget period into your uh, sidebar. So as you'll notice here, we created two categories that are not listed yet, and that is because we have not added any posts to our categories, because you'll notice we're on the home screen and all of our posts are still in the uncategorized category. So what we can do is go back and go to all posts, and here as we hover over, you'll notice that the pop-out menu comes out, so we can click edit for the assembly on Tuesday. And what you want to focus on is, is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen where it says categories. You notice that this post is already in the uncategorized section, but an assembly on Tuesday would probably apply to the parents. So we want to make that put that in the parents category so parents can more quickly access this post. So we'll just select parents and we'll go ahead and unselect uncategorized and then select update. So this post has been updated, so we can go back and go ahead and do the same for the rest of our posts. This post could be applicable to both parents and homework because homework they may need to study for the test and parents may need to know that their children or their students are having tests the next day. So we can click both categories on this and deselect uncategorized. So we can select update and that post has been updated. So we can go back to our sample site and you'll notice that there are still no categories but that's because we need to refresh and you'll see now that our categories have been added to the widget area so for someone visiting your site they can quickly navigate to the homework category to know exactly what they have for homework the next day and there you'll see our space test post in that category or if you selected the parents category you'll see both of our posts have been moved to the parents category it's basically categories is just an easy way or better way to organize the posts on your site so that parents or students or whoever is visiting your site can access information 